Hi, in this one, we're going to discuss adding classes to the portal and why it is uh, why it's a good idea for organizational purposes. For example, when we look at the device list here, you'll see that I have everything from firewalls to iPads to monitors all in the same listing. And while they all are devices, so they logically fit together that way, um, you may want to break them up into different groupings to make them quicker to get to as you're navigating through the portal. So in order to make some changes here, um, let's go ahead and click on the name in the top right corner. Go to Admin Settings. Then we're going to look at this Groups and Types section. So depending on which one we want to edit, we'll, we'll select that one in here. So we're going to do Device Types because that one is a, is a pretty common one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one for network devices. So I'm going to click Class tab here. And I'm going to go Options drop menu, drop down menu to add class. And then we'll just call this one Network Devices, for example. And I can go ahead and save and close. Then we'll go back to the Types tab. And this is where you can edit or delete or add new device types that you want to have available to add to the portal. So for this, we'll go ahead and move firewalls to this new class. So we've located firewalls. And we'll go ahead and click the Edit button. And go down to the Class section here and select this class that we just created called Network Devices. And Save and Close. Now you notice Network Devices is here under the Class column. So I'm going to go to the Global Dashboard. And now the left menu has changed. Now I have devices, but I also have network devices. Firewalls will no longer show up under this listing. They'll only show up under the network devices listing. So at this current time, I'm at the global dashboard view. So when I click firewalls, I'm going to see firewalls from a lot of different companies in the portal. But if I were to go down to an individual company level, the left menu changes and Everything below it is now filtered based on this company. So when I click Network Devices now, I only see three firewalls instead of 14. So now that I click this, I, I know I'm looking at firewalls at Handover Management Company. So in other ways you can use classes um, that I've seen with devices would be maybe virtual machines, physical machines, user endpoints things of that nature. And you can also use these classes with, uh, with your documents, KBs, configurations, contacts, accounts, and agreements. Thank you.